start what? Start doing a little bit of, so we got a nice crack here that we pulled off of that tree over there. It was an SP that was identified back in 2016. It was symptomatic, so came here spring. Oh, it is March 3rd today. Seventh, but you're close. March 7th, I'm close. So this is a nice pressure pad still under the bark. So, um, this tree was symptomatic um, last year. It lost all of its leaves. So coming onto the site, looking, uh, the tree was trimmed the wrong time of year and it was climbed with spikes. You can see here there was an attempt done after the fact to try to um, cover over the wounds that were done as the person climbed the tree with spikes to trim it. And so, again, looking for pressure pads this time of year, uh, mid-May. Uh, th this is a, a rather apparent crack, but if the crack wasn't that noticeable, you can you can hear how it's hollow. Okay, and then opening it up. smell the fermenting apple cider sort of juicy fruit bubblegum smell so if I wanted to find another one I would probably find it either below or above this um, but you can definitely yeah I can hear another one yeah there's some hollow spots under there but yeah so this is it so this is diagnostic this is confirmed again you can see some of that darkening of the xylem, the wood just underneath, as again this is moving in a strip up and down the tree in that manner. Okay, so, okay, thank you. Um, this tree died last year. Uh, this is a, a, a historic pocket of oak wilt that we knew about, so I just kind of came by to show somebody uh, a possible infestation, and they said that this tree was just cut down last year, and you can see how short the stump is. But right down here, on the stump, you can see that the bark is pushed away a little bit. So we're going to open that up. And we have, not only do we have pressure pads, but we have pressure pads crawling with nitidulids. So here we are. It's May 24th. We're in Clare County. You can see this stump, as short as it is. A lot of people leave stumps they say, oh well, the stumps don't form pressure pads. But here we are. Here's pressure pads on the stump. Very short stump, but full of pressure pads. And again, just covered in nitidulids. And that smell is just prolific. That juicy fruit bubblegum smell. So even on a stump this short, you can still get pressure pads. nice big ones right there you can see that black silhouette you can see this raised mat here in the center and again just look at them covered in nitidulids would ripping off the bark partially like kill the fungus or dry yes. it out yes if if okay. this stump was cut shorter or if all the bark was removed then these pressure pads wouldn't form. They only form in this very thin layer just underneath the bark. So there you go. Pressure pads. Hey. So this is a possible oak wilt pocket. Again, looking for pressure pads. Uh, there is a crack that's somewhat visible here on the side of the tree. Uh, doing the drumming just to listen for the, the 
change in tone. Listening for those hollow sounds again. If the cracks are not that easy to find, you can always drum and you can always hear that change. So anyways, this is a not a very easy to see crack, but let's see if we can get a pressure pad underneath there. And voila. That's a nice one. It's actually very fresh. There's the very much the apple, fermenting apple cider, juicy fruit bubblegum smell coming off of it. Yep. So there we go. Confirmation. That's diagnostic. That's oak wilt. And again, if I look up and down the tree on this side, I'll find more of them. And there I can see another one right up here. Again. Yep. So you can always hear them, even if you can't see them. So you can see this crack here. It's very visible. You come down over here, and you can't see this crack unless you come around this side. But there it is. And once again, even if you can't hear, even if you can't see them, you can hear that hollow pocket. So there's one under there that hasn't popped yet. We got this guy. There's the other, another one right there. Like I said, oh, and look at this one right here. Very close. Because the bark is so craggy, sometimes it's, they're hard to see, but you can always hear them. Even if the, that hasn't popped yet, you'll always hear that. You'll always hear that. So I'm going to open these up, take a look. I'm going to see if we can find some nitidulids on some of these. Oh, look at that. Ooh. There's a little bit of that smell. A little bit. If anyone wants to take a sniff. Okay. Bubble gum? Yep. So it smells like now is that the larva of the beetle you're looking for? No, just the beetles feeding on the on that spore pack. You know, I'm not sure. I think not. But I'd have to There is one near the doula right here. Is it right there, a little black beetle? See that little black guy? Yep. Yep. As I'm opening these up very much has that smell. Yeah. So I'm going to open up this last one. Where was he? It's on the side. Oh, there he is. Yep. This last one here. Yeah. It's an older one. fresh when they're white like that when they're when they're really light so as they as they age the mat becomes black when this first starts out the whole thing is white bright white as they start to get older the pad in the center starts to turn gray from that the pad starts to turn black then this part that's white starts to turn gray and as they age the whole thing turns black so is that a newer one, though? This is an older one. Oh. That's a newer one. And then I see one more, one more guy right here. Put him up. Yep. Yep. If you wouldn't mind backing up and just getting a little film of this tree, just showing exactly how many pressure pads there are all over this tree. Just within sight. You know, there's more up there, too. I can see cracks going all the way up on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's two more up the back here.
Well, now it's going.